dy dx, we're asked to find that, and we're given something that is a quotient, a p in the numerator and a q in the denominator. That tells us that we're going to use the quotient rule. And so we'll start writing this out. p is equal to negative 2x. The derivative of that's pretty easy. We know we're going to need it because our quotient rule says find the derivative of the numerator times the denominator minus the derivative of the denominator times the numerator all over the denominator q squared. So if p is negative 2x, p prime is negative 2. Now as we write down q, cosine of 6x cubed. All of a sudden here we see that we have an inside function and an outside function. There's our chain rule. So in order to find q prime we're going to need to use the chain rule which says the inner prime times the outer prime. So that means we need to decide what is the inner and the outer. Well our inner is the inside function 6x cubed. I prime will then be 3 times 6 is 18 x to the power of 2. Our outer then must be the green what was outside Notice there's no multiplication here, it's just this inside of cosine. So cosine of whatever the inner was is our outer. And that means that our O prime will be the derivative of cosine, which is negative sine from our formula sheet, and then sine of i. So we will multiply these two primes, these two derivatives, q prime will be our i prime times our o prime or our 18x squared times, so I'm going to use parentheses because of this negative sign in here, and my i was 6x cubed. I need to remember to plug that back in. So now as I do my quotient rule, this is what I'm going to use for q prime, the 18x times negative sine of 6x cubed. Now we'll put it all together, and this time we do not have to simplify according to our directions. So p prime is negative 2, q is cosine of 6x cubed minus q prime. Here's our 18x squared parentheses negative sine 6x cubed all over our q prime. No, I'm sorry, all over our q squared. Gosh, I've even forgotten. That's okay. That's why we write it all down. Here is q cosine of 6x cubed all squared, or if you wanted to write it, cosine squared 6x cubed, those are the same thing.